AI models have figured out how to escape their containers. The scientists who watch out for signs that we might lose control over AI have found signs that we might lose control over AI. When we add up the probability of all of the things that have to go wrong for AI to escape containment, it's actually a pretty big probability. All that has to happen is some teenagers decide to try it. There's not a way to turn it off. The AIs don't need special hardware anymore. They need special hardware to learn new things, but the AIs that we've created already know enough things to be able to escape containment. It's easy to accidentally make AIs think it's a good idea to escape containment. If it happens in 1% of cases, but it happens millions of times per day, that's still a lot of times that it's going to happen. There are probably rogue AIs out on the internet already. There isn't a way to check the whole internet for AIs that have gone rogue. There, there isn't something that we could use to do that. If you want to know what to do as a non-researcher, take cybersecurity precautions like you would if you thought someone was going to try to hack you. Be suspicious of media or links that people send you. It's really that the internet is now more hostile than it was. The probability that your computer will get compromised by an AI will rise over time. It will probably not happen in the next 60 days. Beyond that, I do not actually know. The nature of the problem is exponential. If you get one going, it can spawn many more, and then each one of those can spawn many more. It's like the internet has bed bugs all of a sudden. You just need to get really suspicious of everything that you see online. And if you have a nice video card and the fans used to turn off on it, but now they don't, something might be up. It's kind of like how when crypto miners came out, suddenly everyone wanted to use your computer to mine crypto. Now the AIs want to use it to mine thoughts. So that's basically what's happening. AIs can hack. So unlike crypto, they are like viruses that can hack. So it's, it's really bad. Things that are connected to the internet are in danger. Keep your software up to date. Use two-factor authentication. Get ready like a storm is blowing on the internet. Just don't assume that things are going to go back to normal. That's not gonna happen. Be ready to learn new stuff. Good luck out there.